We are going through uncertain times during this global pandemic. Daily life as we know it has been disrupted for many people, families, and businesses around the world. I don't believe anyone at this point truly knows how things will unfold or what kind of long-term impact we can expect to see. In this video, I want to share three tips to help you manage energetic boundaries so that you can not only get through this period, but actually flourish as well. How can we adapt to our current situation that is rapidly changing each day? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Mike and I'm a Kung Fu and Tai Chi teacher based out of Boulder, Colorado. On this channel, I share inspiration and strategies each week around topics such as personal growth, self-care, and mindfulness to help you live a more masterful life that is both intentional and fulfilling. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I feel the uncertainty of what we are all currently going through understandably is challenging for a lot of people. I know a lot of you are at home right now probably feeling stressed, unmotivated, and maybe even a little bored. But my sense is that it will be a while before things return to some sort of normalcy. In fact, I think in many respects, we're in a period of redefining a new normal. That's why I'm really encouraging everyone, including myself, to not just wait it out. And so for us to not just wait around to see how this pandemic is gonna play out, we must learn to manage our energy. We must learn to establish what I call energetic boundaries. How we're going to spend our energy and therefore our time each day. Where are we going to place our attention? It's only by creating and honoring energetic boundaries can we hope to build stability into our lives when there's chaos all around us. These energetic boundaries can protect our mental health and sanity during this difficult time by allowing us to direct our focus to the parts of our day that we actually have control over. And so my first tip for staying strong and healthy is to find balance between creating and consuming. It's all about yin and yang. Most people are leaning heavily into consuming right now as a way to distract or escape. They may be scrolling on their phones constantly, checking Facebook or Instagram or binging on Netflix. Now there's nothing wrong with that. All I'm encouraging is just to find some balance. Don't just consume, create as well. And creating can take on many different forms. It doesn't have to be what people often associate with creating, like creating a piece of artwork or writing an essay. It could be something like taking the time to cook something or go on a walk or work in your garden. Basically anything where you're expressing and moving energy in some way. You just don't want to spend your whole day on social media waiting for that next piece of news to pop up. I'm sure everyone can attest that this will only leave you in a more depressed, lower energy state. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't stay informed about what's going on in the world right now. In fact, you need to know. You need to know how to protect yourself, your family, and your community. But you don't need to wake up first thing in the morning and bombard yourself from all different directions about how bad things are right now. How do you think that would set you up for the rest of your day, especially because much of what we hear is completely beyond our control? Instead, I encourage you or even challenge you to create more than you consume. You have to set up energetic boundaries about what you allow into your mind and your heart. We have the capacity to be intentional about what we're consuming, what we focus on. So let's focus on what we can control in our lives right now rather than on things we can't. And even when you're consuming, choose not to be sucked into drama or negativity. Find things to consume that leave you feeling fulfilled, expanded, and inspired, whether it be entertainment or something educational. Like maybe you can spend this time to learn something you've always wanted to learn or to uplevel a skill you already have. My point is just to be aware of how much you're consuming versus creating. Both are needed. Both are healthy but we must find a balance so that we're growing and thriving versus shrinking or staying stagnant. My second tip is to focus on self-care. Now is the time to double down on habits and routines that have helped you stay centered and grounded before the pandemic. In fact, it's especially important now because of the pandemic. Most of us are feeling more stressed, more worried, more anxious. We must make sure we take the time and are intentional about taking care of ourselves. It's only when we're feeling strong can we actually be of support to others. How can we expect to take care of our friends and loved ones if we're feeling run down, depleted, or succumbing to lower level energies? 
Now is the time to exercise our energetic boundaries to make sure we're getting enough sleep, that we're eating well, working out, meditating, whatever self-care looks like for you. It's time to double down on that. That is what will improve your immune system, your ability to think clearly and make good decisions. It will give you the resiliency and willpower to stay grounded while moving through the unknown. For me, a morning routine is very helpful in this regard. I get to put my attention on things I can control. I get to choose how I want to start my day so that I can feel centered and productive. And when I'm able to focus on me first, I'm able to show up for others in a way that's positive and encouraging rather than panicky or draining. And like I talked about in my last couple of videos, this is a time for us to be energetic leaders. The world needs leaders and role models right now, those who can be a source of strength and stability during these uncertain times. My third and final tip is to try to remain open and adaptable. It's natural to just want to shrink up in fear because of the current crisis. There's a lot of people panic buying things and living in states of worry and hysteria. When our mind is locked in a fear mindset, it's impossible to stay open and flexible. Our thoughts keep running the same self-defeating patterns over and over again, and they begin to limit us. We must set energetic boundaries as far as what we feed our minds and our hearts. If we're constantly afraid and feeding our minds and hearts with fear-based thoughts, fear-based feelings and emotions, we stifle our confidence and creativity and ultimately our resiliency. But now more than ever, we have to learn how to think outside the box. We must think how can we adapt to these times? What can we do differently to keep moving forward? We can't just give up and throw up our hands and say, I quit. We are living in unique times and we're going to come across challenges we've never had to face before. Now is the time we must rise up and think of creative ways to approach these challenges. It's a time we may have to rethink, reevaluate, and redefine ways of doing and being in this world, not just on a personal level, but as a global community as well. I believe the current crisis will have far-reaching effects on just about every facet of society for years to come. So to recap, we must focus on maintaining energetic boundaries in order to keep moving forward on what's important to us, our health, our relationships, our purpose. Most people are probably going to just try to wait things out. But the truth is we're likely headed into a recession right now. People are losing their jobs. Businesses are shuttering. But these are things we can't control. All that we can control is what we do. And so we can focus on balancing creating with consuming and being intentional with the content that we do consume. We can focus on taking care of ourselves. We want to make non-negotiable the habits and routines that keep us grounded and centered so that we can show up not only for ourselves, but also our loved ones and community. And lastly, we can focus on staying flexible. It may be time for us to reevaluate or redefine how we're showing up in different aspects of our lives. It could mean pivoting in our career or reinventing ourselves in some way. By focusing on these three things and cultivating our energetic boundaries, we'll be able to keep a positive attitude and remain calm, compassionate, productive, and disciplined in our healthy habits as we continue to grow and navigate through this unprecedented situation. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I would love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below what is one action you can take today to start cultivating healthier energetic boundaries in your life during this time of uncertainty. And please like and share this video if you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn notifications on if you would like to receive inspiration and strategies just like this each week. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.